Hello, everybody, and welcome back to Colony Survival. Doug, hello. Tom, hello. Your towns are looking fantastic. Your um, your lighthouse is looking lovely. Thank you. And the boat are looking like it's. I'm glad the boat doesn't have a um, like like gr- like field on it. Do you know what I mean? I feel like the, I'm glad the deck is still wood. Yeah. Um, although I, I like your Dutch polder that you've built here. Um, the, the kind of the layered, you've reclaimed the sea, Tom. Yeah, yeah, land reclamation. Now That's this, what I'm doing. This Hold reminds there. me so much of, of when we went on holiday. We, we've just gone back from holiday, everyone. We're Hi, back. welcome back. Uh, if you were missing Colony Survival, which in fact I haven't heard anyone say, <laughs> <laughs> uh, then we're back, everyone. Hooray. So, no, seriously, uh, went and met loads of people at uh, RTX Sydney. No one. I always talk to people a lot. Everyone's like, oh, I love um, love the TTT, uh, love Games Night, love Lewis and Ben, Save the World, love Tom, stream, love Tom, you know, love Duncan, uh, love the Civ. No one said, love Colony Survival. No. Not a single person <laughs> oh, mentioned Colony no. Survival. Is it quite forgettable, this series? Or I don't know, it's so pretty to me and it's so warming and... Man, I thought about Collie Survival a little bit when I was on holiday. Oh. When we went to Bunnings. Oh, yeah. The big hardware store. Um, I saw lots of Australian, strapping Australian men, Steve Daves and Craigs, all coming <laughs> in and, and buying their stuff for improving their colonies. Because it feels a little bit like Australia is a col- was a colony. I suppose it isn't anymore, really. But New Zealand, when we went there, it felt a lot more ruggedy. Um, ruggedy. Well, I think I think that the difference ruggedy in rats. New Zealand was, you know, when you you go to like you go into like a small English town, okay, and you go to an estate agent, and all of the um, the, the things of the estate agent are all like. Oh, like a million pound house and then like yeah. loads of little bungalows and little tiny houses on like tiny, tiny, tiny houses. But they cost like a, like almost a million pounds. Like, you know, like 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 a little house on a street right. that looks like a house. It's like half a million pounds. Oh, house is so expensive. And then you go to New Zealand and in the window of the estate agent, almost all of the half of the flipping houses weren't even there. They were just like potential for building a house. Yeah. just like land. It's like, oh, shit. It's like a, a, a piece of land would, would be perfect for a house. <laughs> and I kind of I kind of like that. I feel like New Zealand was kind of very much England, but we haven't finished building it yet. Um, it's like it's like coming along. You know, you've got, you've got to put your put your own back into it. Yeah, yeah. And, and I like that. You know, some place, we went to a place that didn't have um, running water. It had well water, Tom, yes. oh. but the well was very, Horrific. very heavy iron content, and so okay. it was yellow. Okay, that's not normally what you want from your water. Kind of more orange. It was really horrible. So when we went, when we when we were, when we were being shown around the place the so by the guy, it was just the smell. We didn't, oh. we didn't. Any, honestly, like, I we met the guy who was like owned it, like, kind of like an Airbnb type situation, mm. you right? Know? And uh, he had very yellow teeth. Yeah. And I was like, oh, this is a bit, bit weird. And then I, <laughs> I, I realized that obviously, you know, he'd been probably drinking the, the tap water over time and it stained his teeth oh. yellow. And it had obviously... It stained your nails. It stained my, my toenails. Like showers. And my, my fingernails were starting to go yellow. Jesus. And I was like, oh, shit. Hits, were, son. were your parts getting imbued with the power of iron? Was, well, I was, was originally like just, I was originally just cleaning my teeth as normal with tap water, and I was like, oh fuck, I better start using bottled water to clean my teeth. It was, oh my it was like I was going camping, Tom. It was That's very unusual, crazy. But it was like a sort of a luxury house, you know, built, but obviously like kind of abandoned by the people who lived in it due to the, the horrific, horrific water. <laughs> well water. Iron. That's, I mean, I, I sort of expected that from New Zealand a little bit, like this kind of being slightly. Not backwards, I guess, but like just kind of a little bit unfinished. A little bit more rough and ready. It didn't feel, it felt rough and ready. Yeah, it felt rugged. Like, you know, New Zealand is, I felt like England, but with mountains in the background. Cool mountains. Didn't we have a cool mountain somewhere in the background or is it beyond my draw distance? Uh, uh, I don't know. Oh, the game. I'm oh. just waffling. I don't I even need you guys to. here. I could just solo commentate. Just, just talk this is entire yourself. series. Uh, no, so we, we, we're back. We had a nice time. It was amazing. And, and I feel like the people in New Zealand and Australia are more Bunnings esque. They're more get out there. And, like, for example, there was an entire row in Bunnings of toolboxes, right? Like, like not, not, not kind of like a toolbox like you might think, like a little hand li- lift off up a ball. A little box, like, you know, that you might keep a few spanners in. No, like a toolbox that looks like a outdoor barbecue. Yeah. You know? They all like, had wheels. Like a, a, a toolbox that was, you know, like a wardrobe um, in, in stature. And I thought, who is, 
needing to put so these many tools. In these incredibly we need so many tools. And I guess it's for the, all the ruggedized people who come out and and um, oh, it's so weird watching all the zombies come in and, and and try and get across this lake and all get slowly shot and sank as they as they <laughs> as they come. And my gun line just comes and gets them. I was thinking about building the um, the 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 the, the, to- the tower of terror actually at the start of my base. And so I was thinking of having like a, a, a tower of terror here that the zombies all go up um, uh, before they come back down. I thought that might be a fun, a fun right. yeah, little like a shooting gallery. Yeah, oh. like a like a no, not, not a shooting gallery, like a tower of terror. So they like, all have to climb all the top of the tower, then they get to go down the, the kind of adventure slide, like a water slide. Right. And then they but have bullets on the slide. Well, the thing is, they are dying anyway. So I, why not give them a little little bit of fun? <laughs> Little before they eventually get shot. If if you were being taken to like your execution, mm. would you rather you know have a go on you know a, a big water slide? Well, uh, people would that, would well people are happier? adrenaline junkies, right? Yeah, Tom? I think so. And and you know you can. There was a time in New Zealand. I'm gonna be. This is basically. I'm sorry, yes. guys. It's gonna be anecdote central. There was a time <laughs> when me and Shin and Duncan we jumped off a rock and we were all very scared. We were very scared. nervous about jumping off this rock. It was very terrifying. It was a tiny rock. And me and Shin, we we were we were we were felt like we were adrenaline junkies. <laughs> we were like we were like we're alive. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? It was it was reaffirming. Do you think people most of that kind of like enjoyment of adrenaline fueled sports like bungee jumping and skydiving and all that crap is from the fact that they're actually quite relieved that they're still alive at the bottom? You know, it's like. Hooray! I, I made it. I'm actually not dead. Do you reckon that's where it, mostly where it comes from? I think I think so. Yeah, or is yeah. it? Because um, I don't understand what else pleasure it would be. You know, it's, it is. These things are pretty pretty spooktastic. Duncan, that rock. I don't know what you're saying. I mean, it was it wasn't as high as the things you've jumped off. I'm sure, but but man, it was spooky for me and Shin because oh, we had to like climb up this this slippery thing. I felt like I was going to fall off a couple of times. I had wasn't a rope. So, honestly, jumping off the rock was no problem, but climbing up to the rock was very, very scary. I guess you, well, you were on your own when you climbed up, which is a bit harder because me and Shin had each other to like help bonk each, each other, other. Yeah. I was, I was like, so Duncan said, you know, because he's done jumping off rocks before in, <laughs> yeah. in, um, on holiday, haven't you? In like Devon. Tombstoning, they call it. Don't jump off rocks, everyone. It's very dangerous. The reason it's called tombstoning is it's, because it's they put your tombstone fine. down there after when you jump into a shallow bit of water and you oh just got to make sure it's not explode. shallow before you jump. That's like rule number one. Yeah, um, that's pretty much the only rule actually. Well, make sure it's deep. Exactly. <laughs> also, I mean, make sure there's not a rip tide at the bottom. I did that once. Oh shit! What's that? That's terrifying. It's like you jump in, and you're like oh, and then you come up and you're getting sucked down to sea. Oh. Shit. <laughs> Well, that sounds terrifying. <laughs> yeah, fucking hell. So, wow. so I mean, you're you have this long prestige with jumping off rocks. So, so for you, it was was nothing. But for me, like, so you said, like, one of the things you said was that a lot of people who jump off the rocks um, get stuck there, like, and they go weak at the knees. And I, I literally did feel that that they you've got to like overcome your body's natural instinct to not jump off a rock. Okay. And because... a lot of people have trouble doing that, so they stand at the top of the rock for like half an hour trying to build up the courage to do it. The longer you stand up there, the harder it gets. Yes, I can imagine. The more time you have to think about it. Eventually it gets to a point where you you either have to just force your body to do what it really doesn't want to do or or get down from the rock. But quite often these rocks are so hard to get down from, it's actually safer to jump off it in the first place. Right. Oh, (laughs) that's how I feel about how I felt when I was climbing up there. Like it was the the scary part was the climbing up. And once once I was up there, I was like, oh, thank God I can jump (laughs) off this thing. Christ, that was so spooky getting up here. So do people like fall off the way up the climbing up, though? Do people die like I never you never hear people dying I've never seen like climbing up to a rock, get hurt, right? right? You only hear about people it. dying jumping off stuff. So maybe the climbing itchy isn't that dangerous, but people think it is because it's a bit spooky. The rocks were quite slippy. I was slippy. Um, yeah. I was. All, He's wearing a wetsuit. Up for the I beach. was wearing a wetsuit, so it's like. But the wetsuit actually was less slippy than than my own body naturally. <laughs> <laughs> naturally, very slippy. I'm like very body. oily. He's an otter. Oh, <laughs> not in yeah. a sex that way though. Oh, it's just in a slippery way. Yeah. Well, listen, let's not let's not cast aspersions <laughs> about what kind of animal we all are. 
We all know that what animal Tom is. Yeah. He is a bull. A bull? <laughs> a bull. Wow. A is bull that, of is a that man. one? <laughs> oh my god. Uh, it's what in, in terms of like <laughs> <laughs> in terms of innuendo. Yeah. I don't know. Uh, I, I assume so. There's a lot of different animals that Tom could be. I'm just trying to think of a nice manly animal. I think, I, I think I'm probably a halfway house between like a like an otter and a bear. Right. <laughs> <I think it's, laughs> a halfway house. Yeah, yeah. You yeah. know, when you're trying to breach into one, you're used yeah. to one kind, but you want to get into the other. That's where I come in because, you know, I'm half. I'm half and half. Yeah, it's just all, it's the best way to be. Um, flexible, as it were. Flexible. So, um, no, we had a lovely time on the holidays, and it made me think that, you know, that lifestyle would be quite fun to have, the one where you kind of take your your property and you, you set up, the, you plan out the house and you build the house. Um, I played a little bit of The Sims the other day, and I spent, like, way too long planning out a house on the beachfront, and um, I felt... I don't know, things I'd never felt before. Uh, it was unusual. What? what? <laughs> what? <laughs> Feel um, free to chip in to help me get through what? the madness and the jet lag that I'm currently experiencing. So this episode of Colony Survival will probably be going out tonight. Oh, oh shit. shit, okay. Um, wow. because oh, so we can say super relevant What am I doing? Then. What well, am I doing in this game? What? We don't know what's happened. We're going away for two weeks. But, so, yeah. no, there's no news out the there. The only research left is just boring stuff. I'm what done. I feel You're like finished. I'm done. A thousand guys. A thousand guys, Duncan. A thousand guys. Everyone wants a thousand guys. You haven't <laughs> done a thousand guys yet. You haven't felt the felt a thousand guys underneath uh, your underneath your right. fingers. You know, you've never f- experienced. And you, you can't right. you can't live without experiencing life with a thousand guys, a Duncan. Thousand it's so guys. So satisfying. You'll never know. So um, like Vart science bags and colony science bags. Well, I'm making both of those. That's fine. Now, so uh, if you have a thousand guys, you just need a shitload of food, right? That's it. Eh? Yes, basically. Oh, that's easy enough. But actually, at a certain point, you can just kind of go crazy, and mm. uh, like me, and just, 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 just go just fucking go crazy. Just go fucking mad. Just go, yeah. Oh yeah, I was going to build some bridges, wasn't I? So people could get to work easier. Let me see if I can do that. That sounds, that sounds nice. Uh, where was I going to do it? Which level do we want to do it on? I think this level, actually. This seems like a good level to do it on. We'll link up all of the the, the farms and the buildings with a, with a skywalk. Um, it's going to be called Skywalk. Skywalk. So anyone that walks on it will be a skywalker? Yes. Nice. Oh, I, mm, I see what you did there. Nice. <laughs> 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 Uh, well, you keep making jokes like that, and you're going to be Han Solo. Uh, <laughs> uh, <laughs> Chewbacca. <laughs> did I do it? I oh, think you did it, yes. Nice. I think nice. That. Well done. Um, uh, man. What's up? I, a lot of my guys aren't working, and I don't know where the, uh, the choke point is. I think maybe... It, what do you mean, aren't working? I mean, they can't get like, to their jobs, or no, what? No, they have, like, a red line through their, <laughs> what they're building. Oh! And right. so I'm not sure what the choke point is. I think maybe it's just bronze ingots. Well, what, right. what, are they work- what are they working at? Well, all different things. Okay. Loads of different jobs are not I doing see. any... Well, like, look in your inventory anything. and see what you don't have it much of. Oh, there's so many things in my inventory now. I don't know what I'm missing. <laughs> I'm quite low on I steel. I've only got ten steel and gold. It's been too long. I can't remember. I don't know how to play this stupid game anymore. I've done. I've kind of forgotten a bit. Uh, what 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 I was even doing. Man, I'm glad to be back. Listen, it doesn't really matter what we're doing. Never, we never we had a plan. Hey, I, I had a plan. Did we? Make Come a, on. Make a cool boat, and then that all went to shit. So. You like, kind of have, though. It's done. The Your boat's cool. It's really cool. You've done it, Tom. Just quit. Just chill out now. Get get on the boat. Drink martinis and sangria and oh. and just, you know, I, sail the seven seas. I could, I could get into being, like, a guy with a boat. Yeah. A boat is a hole in the water that you pour money into. Can you make a oh, nice. job out of having a boat? You know, yeah. like, if you've got a van, you can like, be, like, a man with a van, right? Yeah, you yeah. You just think similar with a boat? Yeah, you can take people out on boat tours. You could be a fisherman. You could transport stuff. There's loads of jobs that people use boats for. Be a pirate. Do you need like a license to you take could, people? You out could on take boat chickens tours? and foxes across rivers. I guess in like fancy places. 
Then, Fancy. Yeah. If we were like, could you just like set up like a, a sign in Bristol, say like boat tours, you know, ten ninety nine, come to this like dock, and then they just appear, and then you take them out to sea. Is that a thing we could do, or would you get arrested? I reckon you probably could. You'd, <laughs> you'd have like some business stuff to manage, but I think if you were in like you know. Well, yeah, well, I think you, you just have to get a permit, Greece right? You, you need a permit. Hawaii, anyone could basically just be boat guy. Uh, boat lord. I'd, I'd guess, maybe. Um, yeah. And just, uh, you stand at the docks and accost, uh, you know, tourists and be like, Hey, hey, handsome, you want to go on a boat? Show your lady a good time? Want to ride a boat? <laughs> and you just, like, you know, really give them the spiel. And, yeah, uh, give them the shtick. Stick and, it in uh, him. Blamo. Um, Stick it to him. You're, you're fucking boat guy. Yeah. Well, good, good suggestion. I think you'd, you'd have a hard time, like, relaxing on your boat, though, if you've got, like, another couple there expecting you to, like, drive them places. Yeah, but you do that to get the money, and then in the evening, that's when you can relax on your boat. Right. Uh, right. So, well, yeah. I mean, do you... Do you... Do you, do you think that you would really use the boat like ever i if mean you, if you lived on i it think and most people really who nice. own boats they they i mean it's like anything you know it, like if you it's like having a car like when i had a car that would i go that, that i didn't that i that i didn't but i didn't Can drive you get a DUI Sorry. hello in a boat i think yeah ah. you, you're like <laughs> thank you for saving me in there. the bright place yeah right kind of spoils the whole like Drinking sangria and martinis on a boat thing, doesn't it? I think it's a bit more, bit more chill. It's a bit harder to tell if you're driving like really wonky and other. <laughs> what? So you mean it's still just as illegal, but it's easier to get away with? I, I'd, I'd guess so. Hmm. Like you know, I guess uh, the you, reaction you, times aren't really a thing when you're in a boat. Yeah, or because, they're a bit more forgiving. I mean, it, if you want to stop a boat, it'll probably take you like a good. You know, thirty seconds. Yeah. Anyway. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So having an extra reaction time of like 0.5 seconds isn't really going to make any difference. Yeah, exactly. I see. But like, so you guys were in Sydney, right? Yeah. And in the harbour, there's there's fuckloads of boats. Oh yeah. Like more than twenty. At least Way twenty. More. Yeah, at least twenty. They'll they'll have like the coast guard kind of like zooming around, or like um they'll have whatever harbour guards. Going around and making sure everyone's like chill uh, and not not like going too fast. Yeah, or it's super hammered. But loads of people will just be like partying in their boats there. Yeah. Uh, so yeah, you could you could be that guy. Well, but you don't really want to party in the harbour. It's kind of you might as well just not. Might as well just go to a park. Isn't the whole point of having your own boat to go places that like other like off the that beaten track, like a, like go. an island, like an island where no one's been. You know, uh, like a, like a desert island. It wouldn't that be the whole point? I, I guess. As soon as I got my boat, I'd be like, "Okay, where the f I'm going to go to a fucking tiny island that no one is at, and then go there and have the whole island to myself." Actually, probably every island is like private property, right? Yeah. I don't know. I mean, you or probably like, have to buy the island, as or it's well. like some sort of protected habitat for for gannets or whatever. There's like <laughs> exactly. A load of gannets there, and the gannets are like, "Get off my fucking island!" <laughs> I'll be like, "I'm sorry, I was just on my new boat." I was on my boat. I wanted to go somewhere deserted. We fucking live here. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck off! Fuck off! Man, gannets are assholes. Why are they so mean? <laughs> <laughs> fucking gannets! I don't want this boat. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>